Hi guys, today I'd like to go through displacement time graphs with you. So firstly, what is a displacement time graph? Well, we've got displacement on the y-axis in meters and time uh, on the x-axis in seconds. Uh, the gradient of a displacement time graph is equal to the object's velocity. So here looking at the equation, we've got v equals delta s over delta t. So v is velocity in meters per second. Delta S is the change in displacement in meters, and delta T is the change in time in seconds. And if we look at our graph, we can see, well, for the first two seconds, nothing's happening. Our object is at rest. Uh, after two seconds, our object moves six meters in the next four seconds, between two and six seconds. So to work out our velocity, we'll do delta S over delta T, well, delta S would be 6 meters, delta T would be 4 seconds, so 6 divided by 4, which is 1.5. The velocity of our object would be 1.5 meters per second. Now, with acceleration, when an object is accelerating, the displacement time graph actually curves. And this is because the velocity, which is the gradient, is constantly changing. Uh, to find the velocity at a point in time, you simply find the gradient of the tangent at that point, and then it's simply back to delta s over delta t. Okay guys, hope that's been useful. Bye for now.